Hey, what's going on everybody? Rob Satch from Feedback Ranch. In this video, I'm gonna show you some specific to tools and a how-to to very easily start um, texting and dripping and um, requesting reviews from your people. And this would be like a podium um, replacement. There's, there's a lot of tools out there right now when it comes to getting reviews that have created these services that pretend like it makes it really easy to get reviews and they pretty much work. The problem is, is they are pretty expensive. In fact, um, when you poke into Podium, you can see that they're getting into all sorts of different things. But the, the idea here is that they make it very easy for you to jump into their pro platform, send out a review request and also, they have their own platform to get their own reviews. But I tell you what, here at Feedback Wrench, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this simply on the cheap so that you don't have to sign up for a $300 or $500 service. Um, this is going to be a really easy system that you can use. Um, there's a little bit of manual entry, and then I'll show you a more automatic version. So this is for small businesses that want to have a texting system to request a review, to automate your review requests, to get feedback. Um, and I'll show you some of the tools that we use to make this really good. So right off the bat, I'll just, I'll tell you, I'm starting to shill a little bit for this program called Sales Message. So Sales Message here, um, if I get to the top, Sales Message is incredible for small businesses. For $35 a month, you get a new local number that you can text from, okay? And the tool is incredibly intuitive. You're able to use it on your phone. They have their own phone app. They have their own web app. And just to quickly summarize, you get a local number, you get to actually define it. So now on your Google My Business, on your website, you can take your own cell phone off, but still get calls forwarded. And the beauty of that is that when it forwards, it's just connecting you through the regular, it's doing a forward for the phone call. Um, so you answer it using your provider. Now it, it's not a big, it's not as big of a deal anymore, but by answering it with your provider phone service, what you'll see is that you get much better connection, right? So the actual connection that you get is a little bit stronger than using a VoIP solution like Grasshopper. Um, so I like that. <clears throat> the other thing that I like is it integrates and it allows some really easy templates for texts. And then I'll show you how it integrates for sales automation. So you can fill out a form and it would automatically drip and, and follow up with your customers after you've figured out that you're finished and you can actually take the temperature of some things too. So let me show you how you would get reviews very simply, the easiest way. Um, you would go into sales message. After you've signed up, you go to your personal settings, you go to canned messages and here's what you do is you hit create and you can actually save these canned messages. So when you are chatting with somebody, you can open this up and you hit the little plus button down here and you'll see you could easily just put in a link to different things. So for example, one, one solution that I like to do is you go into bit.ly. Now bit.ly bit, B -I -T dot L -Y, has a free account that you can get. And in that free account, what it does is it shortens the URL and then it actually shows you um, how many clicks you're getting. So for example, one of my clients, we have their their Yelp review, and I can see that in the last seven days, they've had 39 total clicks to their uh, their their weed maps. They've got 22 to Cali, uh, or for their Google My Business, they've had nine. And I'll show you how we actually do that. But here's what's cool. So if you were to go to your, um, you know, if you were to search your Yelp, so I'm going to show you how to do this for Yelp, Google My Business, and Facebook. We're going to move really fast. If you pull up your actual Yelp business and you hit the get a review, what you can do is you can grab this link up here um, and you take this link and there's a couple. So in this link, I would actually take out everything after the question mark. And what that'll do is give you, it's just a cleaner URL. So take everything, take the question mark and everything to the right of it out, come over to bit.ly. And what you do is once you've set up bit.ly and gotten your free account, you hit create, you put it over here, you click off and now it's created a, so I do feedback wrench Yelp link, right? And then I can tag it with my business name because I do this for all sorts of businesses. Boom, we've got it. So now if I wanted to, um, if I copy this link, that's there. Now the power of this is that it will actually, um, and I don't know if I actually saved that there, but uh, <laughs> so feedback wrench Yelp anyways. 
Oh, I got to get rid of this stupid window thing. Hit save. So now it's saved. What's beautiful about this is I'll be able to see how many clicks it actually gets. That's kind of cool. I like that. You can see if people are actually responding and when you send out multiple. So that's how you do your Yelp. With your Google My Business, you're going to go to Google My Business, log in, and that's always up here. Um, you go to the Google My Business. If you don't have this set up, make sure that you do it. You head down here and in 2020, they have a nice little button called Share Review Form. And if you hit this, You'll be able to grab this link and if you take a look at what this link looks like um, it has the forward slash review question mark RC I would leave that the way it is and then you can come into bitly hit create boom now you've got your Google my business you click off of it so feedback wrench GMB hit save now I've got that guy and let's look at Facebook. So here's how you would actually create a Facebook link to get a review. Um, you're gonna go to settings. So find your page. Once you've got your page pulled up, go to settings. Once you have your settings going, you're gonna go to this templates and tabs. Once you get the templates and tabs open, uh, there's a little thing down here for reviews. And you find the reviews, you go to setting, and here is the link so you can copy that URL. You'll head back into Bitly. And so hit save on that one click off we'll create another one and boom um, it's a junk Facebook um, and that's how you do it so you hit tag you could again you can tag them all and then what's really neat is this is a cool way for you to find out if people are actually clicking on them right so you can see all the clicks that they get and that's super helpful now all you do is come into sales message you go down to your settings once you're in your settings, you're gonna to go to the canned messages under personal settings, and you just start adding them in there. So that's a super easy tool that you can use. Um, now, the other thing that I really like, and I was showing this earlier, is if you use HubSpot, now just a reminder, HubSpot has some really powerful tools for free. Um, and I'll get into some of the cool things that it does for free in another video, but I'm telling you, if you're a small business, and you just want a simple tool to organize your clients, to log all your emails back and forth with those clients, and to be able to text them as well, um, and log those texts all on a business line, HubSpot free CRM with the hub uh, with sales message integration for $35 a month, and then if you were to add on the, the G Suite to that, so buy G Suite, for about $50 a month, you've got an incredibly powerful, inexpensive stack that would give you everything from archiving your drives and all your backups to being able to have every email logged. So in its most basic, what's pretty cool is you would be able to create contacts, right? So this is the free tool. I pay for a higher end version, but this is all available in the, in the free. Um, you can come in here and let's just say that you've got your contacts and uh, so you get all your contacts ah, and I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> you get all your contacts. You're also able to uh, put notes in there. You can make deals. So you get one deal pipeline. So you can make four or five stages of your deal pipeline. And then you'd be able to even text using the sales message tool within there. So that's this is all a really easy way to get reviews. Um, and then what you do is you could on your phone, you could send that out. Or I'll show you a little doohickey that I've got going. Um, this is just a quick example for one of my customers. So here what we've done is we've we've made a page um, and it's password protected right now. I'm logged in. And what you would do here is the first thing that a, my customer can do is they go in, they say the name of the customer. So short to be used in personalization. They add their email and they add their phone. As soon as that happens, we use an automation system that would send that client an email and a text, which leads to um, a form that would allow them to actually review their customer, which is really cool. So we ask a, a series of questions and that series of questions is really based around, in fact, I'll show you real quick. Um, the, uh, the form that we use is very powerful. So junk, uh, this guy right here. So let's take a look at it. Um, so if you look at this guy here, what we do is we ask for um, the name, the email, and then we want to improve, please rate your experience one to five. Five exceeds expectation. 
three did meets expectation, one did not meet. So we say for the booking experience, the junk removal experience, and then would you recommend this to somebody else? What's cool is if you hit yes, now we earmark that in another list and we know that if we gently follow up with those customers and ask them with different emails, different texts to provide a review, they're probably going to do it. So that's uh, that's how you can get really good reviews, folks. Good luck. God bless. If you need help with this, if you're a small business, we specialize in websites and advertising that fill your sales funnel and dominate your competitors. Uh, good luck.